Ecole Bourgeois Frames is a small company which specializes in custom and standard frames. We usually serve um, artists and photographers, those are our main clients, but we also serve the general public. I was um, a consultant. I worked for the province of New Brunswick for seven years. Then I went to the private sector where I was working for an actuarial consulting company and um, did some installation of software for large companies and traveled all over Canada. I worked in Halifax and Montreal and Toronto. And at one point I would fly twice a week. So I reviewed my priorities and, and thought I needed to do something a little bit less hectic. My dream had always been to move to the beach and to pursue my interest in art. So I decided to sell my house and my new car and uh, sold most of my belongings and moved to the beach. The key was meeting Renee, my husband. We worked on a business plan together. A few months later we opened and we've been open a year and a half now. The first nine months that we were in this business, we sold $60,000 in frames. We had had a total of 400 clients that come to us in the first 10 months of our business and we added 300 more clients this year. There's four of us full time and we have an extra person we just hired part time in the shop as well. So now there's five of us. We have people coming from all over the province, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, Halifax. The big bulk of our clients is from Moncton. They come to the country, they like to uh, come for a drive, and our prices, our service, it's worth the drive. We have that in, on our website, that's what our slogan is. And they get there and they say, geez, it was worth the drive. We've established ourselves for the purpose of giving artists a place to buy frames at a reasonable price. We also offer them a bit of advice on reselling their work and how, how to approach it and how to negotiate prices with clients and things like that. We have a biography service. If they bring us their biography handwritten on a piece of paper, we'll type it up, we'll put it on labels, and we'll stick it on the back of their frame. So every time they come over and buy a frame from us, we have the labels on file and we stick one on the back of every frame that they, they buy, every painting that they make. And, and that's really a personalized service that we offer that nobody else does. Currently, the boutique and the customer service happens in the basement of our house, and the assembly and receiving shipping happens at the shop, which is in my parents-in-law's garage. So everything's automated. So during boutique hours, the orders are all entered as we go, so we know how many orders are outstanding, how many are at the shop, how many are finished and haven't been picked up. When we first started, we did like everybody else, and we, we calculated frame prices by hand, and I thought there's got to be a better way to do this. So I put together a little software program where I just enter um, basically the size, what kind of glass we want, what kind of molding we're buying, and the, the, the little calculator actually calculates how many square inches of glass, how many square inches of matting, how many feet of the molding that we need, and it gives us a price in about two seconds. Not too bad. The other software that we use is AutoCAD okay. to design the more complicated frames okay. that we make. Rene is an AutoCAD specialist and uh, CPF, which is a certified professional framer. And he can design a frame in five minutes compared to doing it by hand. It seems that there's a lot of watercolorists in the area. A lot of people who take watercolor classes. And uh, the metal frames were what people were looking for. Those were the types of frames that they did find and they were really expensive. So we looked into it and uh, we found some metal that was made in Canada, which was cheaper than metals made in the States. With the fluctuation of the dollar, the price would go up several times during the year. So then I switched to the Canadian-made moldings and that made a difference and I was able to pass along the savings to the clients. We quickly learned that cash flow is, is incredibly important and the bigger the business, the more cash flow you need. And sometimes the business grows so fast that the cash flow doesn't have time to build to support the growth. After the first year, we just had so many orders that the, the amount of money that we needed to give to our suppliers each month grew so fast that our cash flow just wasn't there. We have understanding banks and larger lines of credit. And sometimes you're, you're going day to day, you know, there's absolutely nothing in the bank and you're hoping people are going to come pick up their frames so you can meet payroll, which is in three days. 
it's a gamble. But so far, it's always managed to happen, and it's worked out. If I were to give someone advice on starting their own business, I, I would tell them how important it is to do a business plan because that's the basis of your business. And if, if it doesn't work on paper, it's not going to work in real life. I inquired about entrepreneur programs and they, the province just happened to have one. It's a real eye-opener for those who want to start a business. They helped us with the business plan. They provided us with ideas on how to get funding. That was super. Definitely recommended to anybody wanting to start their own business. I don't regret anything. I feel like I'm now ready to do this because I've done everything else. It is possible to live in the country, do something you love, be happy as an entrepreneur, and that you don't have to work with somebody else if you don't want to. That there's options out there, and it's possible.